One common criticism of free markets is that they tend towards monopoly or oligopoly. For example, Joseph Stieglitz argued that monopolies arise when firms are able to use their market power to stifle competition. This may take any number of different forms, such as the use of exclusive, exclusive contracts that prevent other firms from entering the market, or pricing goods at or below the cost of production in order to cripple their competitors. Stiglitz has advocated for government intervention to prevent monopolies from arising and to ensure competition in markets. He believes that antitrust laws, which prohibit anti-competitive behavior and promote competition, are an important tool for preventing monopolies. He has also called for greater regulation of industries where monopolies are likely to emerge, such as the tech industry. The reality is that it is a myth that harmful monopolies can result in a free market. It is true that a firm can establish dominant market share through competitive practices alone, but even in this case, the firm is kept in line simply through the threat of competition developing. Market competition is a process, not a headcount. The only time that companies have been able to charge abusive pricing is when they have a grant of monopoly privilege from the state. There's never been a successful case of predatory pricing because it's a horrible business strategy. What happens when the competitors return, lured in by the high prices the newly established monopoly can now charge? What happens if someone buys the discounted goods and sells them in another market? And what about the loss of brand loyalty that the company would experience when they tried to adopt abusive pricing? In the real world, when companies like Amazon, Microsoft, or Walmart manage to establish dominant market share simply by doing a better job than their competitors, there is no rug pull, no take over the market and then raise prices. They've simply continued offering consumers the best prices on goods and enjoyed their dominant position in the marketplace. Microsoft doesn't even require that people pay for their product. You're completely free to install the latest version of Windows without activating it and is all the core functionality a typical user might need. If you look into the origin of antitrust, you will see that the main complaint against the upstart trusts, who use the newly established railroads to ship in goods from out of state and undercut established business interests, was that the prices they were charging were too low. Companies that couldn't compete in the marketplace decided to lobby Washington to crack down on their opponents instead. Critics who charge that free markets tend towards monopolies and higher prices for consumers are mistaken. Harmful monopolies can only arise through a grant of monopoly privilege from the state. Far from being a vital tool for regulating industry, antitrust is just a way for politically connected firms to attack their more successful competitors, and it should be repealed.